Um, so the university helped me find the internship. I was like actively looking for one, so I just kept an eye out on like university emails and I happened to get an email about this opportunity with CRCC Asia. And when I was like getting to looking into the internship, they offered me a, a Colombo grant, which is like a grant to encourage students to go to Asia to study. And I also got uh, a hex debt loan, which was really convenient and has allowed me to come to travel to Shanghai. Hi uh, guys, I'm Iggy. I'm uh, currently working at a blockchain cryptocurrency firm here in Shanghai, uh, run through CRCC Asia. Uh, so I found out about the program uh, through the university uh, when I was uh, looking at going to Malaysia for a program and they, uh, they singled me out and offered me uh, to, to go to Shanghai instead and intern for a month at a company. And I, I thought it was a great idea, why not give it a go, experience some culture in, in Asia and it's kind of where I want to end up anyway. Uh, the opportunities that we get uh, working well, at University of Wollongong is we're able to get a new Colombo plan scholarships from the Australian government that are worth roughly $3,000. Uh, and then since you are going on a short course internationally, you are also able to apply for an $8,000 up to an $8,000 uh, extra kind of hex loan specifically for overseas students. So I'm in the marketing and PR sector and I chose that because they're my two majors at university. Uh, I work for a social media marketing company and we specialise in celebrity marketing and what we do is we bring western celebrities um, and we try to build their Chinese socials like Weibo and Doogie and every other Chinese social media and we pretty much just create content for them. We come up with ideas for them to um, do videos at home and what they can post that is relevant in China and what their Chinese fans would like. Our client roster exists of people like CJ McCollum, Chris Hemsworth, Rihanna, Robert Downey Jr. So pretty high profile celebrities and every day is different. I'm mainly doing research about what's happening on Chinese socials and then a lot of the time I'll be coming up with uh, creative content ideas that the celebrities can perform and upload to their socials. Um, the colleagues at my work are pretty um, diverse. We're all mainly English speaking backgrounds, but we have a few Chinese colleagues as well. Um, we all get along really, really well and we're all a pretty social bunch and uh, we're all, I don't know, we all get along pretty well. It's not too different, but there definitely is a hierarchy and you like, have to learn that pretty quickly to be able to do your job. I'm tasked that I'm doing day to day. Uh, I'm working in business development mostly. Uh, so I'm contacting uh, potential clients, trying to build relationships with clients and then trying to move those on to, to people who can take them a little bit further. So passing them on to my supervisor or other people in the team uh, so that they can uh, reach out to the clients, build some more relationships with them, uh, stuff on that sort of thing. I've also been going to a lot of networking nights uh, around uh, Shanghai and the city, uh, representing the company there and trying to build my personal network as well as the network of the company. Uh, again, contacting uh, token projects, uh, people are looking for exchange listings, uh, that, that sort of genre of stuff. Uh, I've also been given some tasks to do with developing marketing portfolios for clients that are looking to do roadshows around uh, Australia, actually. Uh, I've also worked uh, a little bit with the finance department here, just on some uh, know your client uh, anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism type uh, deals that we have going on. So life in Shanghai at first was pretty daunting and difficult. Um, being from a small town, this place is very, very crowded and very different. You definitely have to learn to push your way through a crowd to be able to get on public transport. And coming here and like having to make friends straight away was also a pretty daunting part, but I've now like found my place in the program and like found my friends, which has been a really good experience. And living in Shanghai, it's pretty central to the rest of China. So it's always an easy like train or plane away. So this weekend I'm going to Beijing to do the Great Wall, which will be fun. And there's so many other places to explore in Shanghai. And Shanghai itself is so large that there's so many other things to do here. And there's always something happening every day. 
So I've been here in Shanghai for three and a bit weeks now. I've uh, been having a great time. Uh, I've actually find it kind of quite easy here. It, it's not really as hard as I expected. I mean, I'm, there's a language barrier, but you, know, you can get what you want by pointing and gesturing. And it, it's, it's really nowhere near as hard as, as, as I thought it would be at least. Uh, the life here at Shanghai has been great. Uh, great food, super cheap. Uh, having some great nights out with friends. Uh, I've traveled to a few different cities, including uh, Suzhou, uh, out west. Took a bullet train out there, thought it was going to be quite a long trip. Turned out only to be 20 minutes. Uh, so, yeah, Shanghai's a great city, it's great fun. And uh, yeah, we recommend coming here.